Hi, I'm Dr. Ajni Patel from Ortho Sports Physiotherapy. I'm a spine and sports physiotherapist with over 23 years of experience. Today we are talking about breathing while running. Runners in the beginning face some trouble about how to breathe the right way, especially as they pick up mileage. Uh, but when it comes to a marathon, it's important to get your breathing techniques correct because this can make sure that you're finishing your marathon with ease, effortless and pain-free. A certain type of breathing technique already works for you. Everybody has a different way of running style. Everybody has a different way of breathing while they run. Everybody is unique. Every runner is unique. However, there are some tips that can help you breathe better and hence run a little bit better. Tip number one, how you run, your running posture, whether your shoulders are forward, whether your elbows are driving back enough, all these factors can impact your breathing. For example, if you are used to sitting all day long for work and then you get up and start running, your posture is going to be rounded. What does this do? It makes your chest contracted. It makes your lungs not be able to expand as much. So it's important to do some posture exercises, open up your um, chest and thoracic spine, your upper back. Uh, do those exercises before you go for the run and that can really impact how easily you breathe. The other thing that can help is while you run, you make sure that your posture is decent. It's easier said than done. Some runners are able to run with good erect shoulders and shoulders down, um, but some runners have trouble with this. So the next time you go for a run, you observe how you are running, maybe do a video, a slow motion video of how you run and see whether your running posture, your shoulders are forward or not. If they are, then try to improve that by driving your shoulders down and back and while you're running, driving your elbows backwards. This can help um, activate the muscles in the back. This will help open your lungs and this will help breathe better. Tip number two, do some diaphragmatic or belly breathing before you start running. You can do it daily, every day, maybe while you're working, when you're watching TV. Uh, this will help you understand how to use your diaphragm to breathe uh, because your diaphragm is your primary breathing muscle. So you must use your big muscles, not the small uh, respiration muscles so that your breathing becomes more effortless. So if you do some diaphragmatic breathing before you run on a daily basis and then during your run and after your run, after some time, you will start to feel that you're running with diaphragmatic breathing all the time. This makes a big difference than doing shallow breathing, which most of the runners are doing right now. To do diaphragmatic breathing, it's very simple. Try this first. Keep your hand on your belly. When you take a deep breath in, see if your tummy is expanding. Your tummy has to come out. When you breathe out, your tummy has to go in. Most people, most runners actually do the opposite. We are all used to doing shallow breathing. This doesn't work well when you are running. You need to get in as much oxygen as possible. So practice this. Put your, keep your hands on your belly. Take a breath in. Let your belly expand. And then when you breathe out, let your tummy muscles go in. Do a few cycles of this every day till you get used to this pattern of breathing. And then it automatically will happen while you're running. Tip number three, while it is easier to breathe from your nose and out through the nose, uh, some runners find it easier if they did in through the nose and out through the mouth. However, this can cause some dryness in the mouth. So you don't want to continue to do this throughout the run. Maybe use it in bits and pieces. Maybe for a kilometer, you do only nasal breathing and then you do mouth breathing and then switch it back and forth and see if that works for you. This and much more like this is in my runner's guide that I have made for runners like you. So make sure you pick it up, click on the link below and I'll send it to you. This is the sixth video in the series of marathon tips and tricks. So make sure you check out the previous videos and also the previous playlist. Uh, if you think that this video has helped you, make sure that you send it to your running buddies and remember to like, comment, share and subscribe.